Hey guys, I'm Finley White. I'm in ninth grade. Um, so I'm going to be talking about three main things. Um, keep, remain, and complete. So with these three things, I'm going to provide a story, a verse, and how it applies to us. So my first one is keep. Um, so I want to imagine like you uh, as a kid on Christmas, and you get like this nice new early pair of shoes that you've been wanting for a while. And your mom's like, okay, I can return them if you don't like them because this is another color you might like or if the size doesn't fit and you're trying to find the right size. So you're trying to figure out whether or not to keep them because I mean like Christmas is the best. You could get a new pair of shoes for free that you don't even have to pay for. And they could be a different color and it could be a different size. If the size is a little too small or if you're just trying to figure out what size you are. So, as I wanted to talk about this, um, there's a verse that I wanted to say, and it's John 15, 16. So it says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may be, he may give it to you. So I want to talk about this verse. Um, some things that I really think are important is you did not choose me. So we didn't choose God. Um, it's kind of like those shoes, like we weren't sure if we were going to keep them or not. Um, they were given to us for free, but we didn't, we weren't really sure if we are going to keep them. Um, and saying that, that gift of the shoes, that's what God gives us. God chooses us even when we don't choose him back. Um, so, and I also like the part where it says um, that your fruit should abide. So your fruit should remain, your fruit should stay if you choose him and you keep him. So I want to talk about talking going from that verse and coming with the story too. Um, and what I'm meaning by saying keep. So the definition of keep is um, taking something and keeping it. Like, I mean, like you can't really explain it any better. Um, so when we keep God's promise, that means we are choosing him over and over again no matter if we sin no matter if we're told we're wrong no matter if we anybody says anything to us we're choosing to keep him so as i was talking about those shoes they were given to us for free they were given to us as a gift they were given to us by for christmas and for a celebration and we didn't know if we were going to keep them or not we didn't know if we were going to choose those shoes See, God give us, gives us the option to choose him, to choose his promise and to choose his calling. So we have to choose him, to keep him, to take those shoes, take that gift, take that promise that he gives us and keep it and know that you made the right choice. And you're going to make that choice every single time, even when Satan tries to turn you away. You positively make that choice to keep him. So I'm gonna go into my next point, which is remain. Um, so I want you to think about, so I was in with my sister like during quarantine, cause I mean, you don't really have anything better to do. So I was tie dyeing shirts. And as I was tie dyeing them, my sister was like, hey Finley, you should put more color in. I was like, why? Um, cause I liked the purple that I had, but apparently wasn't really good enough. So I was like, okay. Um, and I was like, okay, I'll put more color in it. She's like, yeah, it'll, it'll look better. I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, it'll look more vibrant. The colors will be more clear and they'll be stronger. I was like, okay. And so um, uh, the shirts dried and it was true. Like some of the my other sisters who didn't put as much color in, the colors were not as vibrant, especially when you put it in the wash, the colors didn't really show up. So my sister was right. The colors, when you keep it in for longer and when you the colors remain, the darker you put in, the colors remain. The color remains in the shirt for longer because you put stronger colors in, then the colors are more vibrant. So when, when the colors remain and the colors are there, then the colors are more vibrant. So I think when you put so much color in it, the more color you have, the easier it is to remain. And then when it remains, the color becomes more vibrant, if that makes sense. So, I want us to talk about 1 John 2, 24 through 25. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you too will abide in the Son and in the Father. 
And that is the promise that he made to us, which is eternal life. As I'm saying that, I want you to remember a few things. So abide, which means endure and remain. So when I say this verse, when you heard from the beginning, remain in you. What I heard in the Bible, remain in me. When I chose to keep those shoes, keep his promise, I let it remain in me. And I also let it remain in the Son and the Father. So God lets it remain in him too. So not only it remains in us, it remains in him. And this is the promise that he gave us, which is eternal life. So if you let his promise remain in you and choose it over and over again and let it remain and sit, the colors are more vibrant. So the thing is, is guys, when we choose to keep him, when we choose to keep choosing to keep those shoes and keep his promise, then we have the truth. We know what to choose but we have to keep choosing it. We have to remain in that spot of, I know God's got me and I know God's promise is right here in front of me and I'm moving towards it and I'm remaining with him in my relationship. See, God wants a relationship with you. So when you remain in that relationship, it gets stronger. When you remain in that relationship with him, you become stronger and more vibrant, okay? So I wanna go along with what I said about the tie-dye. I said that the colors, you put more color in, it's stronger. The, vibe, the colors are more stronger. I also wanna say one more thing. The longer you leave the colors in there, the more vibrant they are. So if I just waited like two hours and I washed it, the colors would all come out. You have to wait a long time before you can actually wash it and wear the shirt because the colors are more vibrant the longer it remains in the shirt. So as I was saying that, I want you to remember that because the longer the colors are there, the vib more vibrant they are. So the longer you remain in your relationship, the longer you remain in his word, the longer you remain in his promise, the more vibrant you're gonna be to others, the more vibrant you're gonna be to your friends, the more vibrant you're gonna be to strangers you don't even know. Because when you remain in his promise, and you remain in his will, and you remain in his trust and his faithfulness, then God will lead you to the next path. Because a relationship means that there's two, it's a two-way street. So if I don't remain with God, then God's still gonna be reaching for me, but I'm not there. Remain with him, because he can lead you to the next step of your promise. Remember, if you remain in him, the colors are more vibrant. The outcome is more vibrant. You're a better Christian because you remained in him. My next point is complete. This is my last point. So I wanna bring up the point of when you're doing a test and you study really hard for the test and um, you end up getting 100 because you studied for so long. So I'm gonna read this verse. It's Philippians 1, four through six. Always in every prayer of mine, for you all making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. So there's a point that I want to make. He began the work. He began the work when you chose those shoes. He began the work when you chose to follow him and keep him. And then he kept doing the work when you chose to remain in him, when you chose to remain in that relationship. And then he keeps going to completion till the test is over, till you get 100% you ace the test. He holds it to completion of Christ Jesus. So this is the last step of the process. When you complete his plan, that he brought the plan in you and you have to complete it. See, when you do a test, you don't have unlimited time to do the test. We don't have 3000 lifetimes. We only have this one. And then we have eternal life if we do it right. So you have to keep him, then remain his relationship 
and then carry it on to completion. So carry it on till you die. That, that's what it means. You carry it on every day, waking up knowing, okay, I'm going to live with my relationship with God so I remain in him. And I remain in him every day so my promise is with him. And then I'm going to carry his promise to my completion where I can spend eternal life with him. And God will help you get there. You don't have to do it alone. That's why he said he began good work in you that he will carry it on to completion. He carries the burden with you. You don't have to carry it alone. See, the thing about God is we don't have to study. There's no studying for the test. We don't deserve anything he gives us. We really don't. So we take this. We take the completion and carry it on. See, God just wants a relationship. That's all he wants. So if we complete that relationship, we remain in that relationship, and we carry it on to the end of the day, to the end of time that we can, the gift is eternal life. So there's three points I want you to remember. Keep. Keep his promise. Keep his will. Choose it. Choose the shoes. Next is remain. Remain in him and his plan throughout the, your entire life. Remain in his relationship so you can get your relationship stronger. And then complete. Complete his plan so the day you die and you can live eternal life with him. Complete his purpose. Be bright. Be light. Have vibrant colors. And complete it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a blessed day.